Before we mention the Gleason score, yes. why don't we explain what a Gleason score is so that our viewers can understand what that means and how we go about rating the type of uh, score and, and what that means. And it's based on a scale of 1 to 10. Okay, so let me just back up a little bit. And when the indications for prostate biopsy is either an abnormal PSA or abnormal blood test or abnor abnormal digital rectal exam. If the doctor feels a nodule on a prostate or elevated PSA, you would go for prostate biopsy. The prostate biopsy is usually done in the office, takes about five to 10 minutes, and it's uh, not that uncomfortable. I give some lidocaine. Now, that biopsy goes to the pathologist, and they're looking at the pattern of these cells, the prostate cells, and get, they give them a number. That number goes from one to five, and they look at the second most common pattern, and they give it again one to five. So the Gleason score, exactly like you said, the lowest number is 2, the highest number is 10, and we're looking at this classification to know what type of prostate cancer you have. Typically, Gleason score of 2 to 6 is considered a low-risk prostate cancer. Gleason 8, 9, and 10 is considered a high-risk prostate cancer. And Gleason 7, which is a moderate risk in between, is somewhere, it's either 3 plus 4 or 4 plus 3, and we can talk about that. But that, in and of itself as well, is not a clear indication of the advancement. And the, the only way you really know is once you've gone in and actually have done the surgery and removed the prostate. Absolutely. And again, when people hear about prostate cancer is a slow-growing disease and it doesn't affect your life, we need to know what type of prostate cancer. And I'm glad you brought it up. Because if it's a high risk or moderate risk, you need to treat it more aggressively and do the right thing for the patient.